Greetings and welcome to the module on functions of administration. Administration is an important skill for any professional in higher positions in or her respective organization. In fact, as one grows in his or her own career, his or her role in grassroots work will diminish and the role at managerial level will gain significance. This is where the skills of administration comes handy and which is required. Unlike an administrator who works in a corporate organization or a bureaucratic organization, a social work or welfare administrator cannot be bureaucratic or top-down in approach. A social work administrator should understand the social context in which we work and use the value framework of social work to take administrative decisions in the context of service delivery. In this lecture, the following learning goals will be there. Number one, this lecture will help the learner to understand and appreciate basic concepts of administration. Secondly, it will help the learner to develop basic understanding of the post-corp framework evolved by Luther Gullick and its usefulness to social work administration. What is administration? Administration is defined as a set of cooperative activities undertaken by an organization to accomplish significant and common goals. Now there are three key words evolving from this definition. Cooperation, organization and goals. Cooperation is a process of working for common benefit as opposed to working for selfish gains. For example, if the Niti Ayog is hiring a team of four different specialists such as an economist, a sociologist, a statistician and a public health professional for developing a health policy to eradicate, for example, sickle cell anemia among tribal people, then each one of them cannot work independently. They have to cooperate and work with each other and understand each other's function. Thus, cooperation is a vital element in administration. Organization is the next important element in administration. Organizations or social units deliberately constructed and reconstructed to seek specific goals. NGOs, government welfare organizations are all different types of organization. We will discuss about this in a short while from now. The third important element is goal or objective. Goal is the desired result of an organization. Goal brings team members to work completely and cooperatively together. For example, if a student does not have goal of completing his or her higher studies and getting a job, he or she would not be motivated to study. Thus, cooperation, organization and goals are central to administration. What is an organization? Organization is a human grouping which is deliberately constructed to accomplish specific objectives. As I said earlier, government agencies, corporations, universities, hospitals, schools, political parties are all types of organizations. Each and every organization has a number of subunits which has been bound together to form a structure and the structure as a whole fulfills some sort of function. There are a number of subunits in the system. The subunits are interrelated among them, themselves in an orderly manner. Uh, for example, an organization as a whole has to be understood as a system. The departments in an organization such as the administration department, the finance department, the program department, the evaluation department are the subunits which we are talking about. So for the betterment of, for example, the field action department, the other subunits such as the administration department and the evaluation department has to be supportive. Thus, it is important for the subunits to cooperate with one another for the betterment of the organization. 
Now we will try to understand the relationship between organization and administration. Organization and administration are closely related to one another and they are not separated. Organization is regarded as the structure and administration is regarded as the process. Organization is a formal entity and administration is the course of action within an organizational setting. The term organization and administration are therefore closely related. Administration and management are generally used synonymously and the meaning of the both is the same. Functions of administration. As I said earlier, POSCOB is a valuable framework developed by Luther Gullick and it comes very much handy to understand the functions of social work administration. POSCOB stands for the following. P. Planning. O. Organizing. S. Staffing. D. Directing. C. Coordinating. R. Reporting. B. Budgeting. We will learn about each of these functions in this lecture. Planning. The first function of the organization and administration is planning. Every organization, whether corporate, non-profit, does some kind of a planning as they have to prepare to realize their goals. In corporate organizations, planning is done by a separate strategic management group or a division which generally reports to the chief executive officer. In smaller organization, the task is entrusted to an administrator who has competence and skills and knowledge to accomplish the planning function. In non-profit organization or in social welfare organization, the administrator handles this function effectively. The second function is organizing. The need for organizing emerges when one individual cannot perform all the necessary tasks. How and on what basis these tasks are divided among individuals and group is the subject matter of organizing. Organizing is important as it gives clear cut direction and authority and responsibility in an organization which helps in managing and leading the organization. There are four important elements in organizing namely division of labor, decentralizing, departmentalization and span of control. Division of labor means that the total work of the organization is divided into smaller units and distributed among the employees. Work is allotted to the person most suitable for a particular task. This allows the employers and the employees to attain proficiency in the work and thereby increases the efficiency of the work and in general the organization. Division of labor means that the total work is made in subunits and it comes together to help the organization. Decentralization refers to the degree with which the authority is distributed among the various levels of organization. Departmentalization refers to the formal function and structure of the organization which comprises of different departments and managerial position and the relationship to each other. Departments are formed on four bases namely function basis, theme basis, location basis and clientele basis. Function basis. Some of the functions are finance and administration function, resource mobilization function, program execution function, etc. Theme based. Themes such as themes working on water, urban health, education, etc. Location based such as north zone, south zone, central zone, east zone, 
etc clientele based example women tribes children dalits youth etc now we will move on to span of control span of control refers to the number of subordinates an individual can supervise and control experts recommend that no supervisor can control more than 5 or 6 individuals without decline in the quality hence every administrator will have to mostly handle 5 to 6 personnel at a particular given point of time the third function of administration is staffing staffing deals with recruitment placement training and development of members in an organization the process of developing the same is referred to as manpower planning the fourth function of an organization is directing an organization without a leader or a director is a speeding bus without a driver therefore directing and leading are seen as the highest role of an organization leaders can be both formal and informal formal leaders are found in formal institutions like bureaucratic organizations like military etc hence organizational functioning in formal organization is governed by written and formal rules on the other hand informal leaders are found in traditional governance structures such as gram panchayats ngos etc the fifth function of administration is coordination coordination is the process of achieving organizational goals effectively by various means the important methods of coordination includes line of command following rules and regulations etc the sixth function of administration is reporting reporting is a powerful means of keeping the superiors and the stakeholders aware and informed about the problems progress and process of work reporting is done at every level the annual report of the organization is the statement of achievements and shortcomings of the organization to the general body of the organization and the society at large within the organization the chief executive officer reports to the board of management or the governing body subordinates to the executive officer will report to him or her and so on the seventh function of administration is budgeting budget is understood as a complete statement regarding the organization's income and expenditure of the past financial year which also provides an estimate of the same for the coming financial year organization's budget is usually approved by the highest authority that is the governing board of that organization once the budget is approved then the allocation of funds to the various departments takes place budgeting is therefore a specialized and specific activity which involves considerable knowledge of basic accounting economics and costing to prepare a tentative budget evaluation and feedback the final and the most important function to administration is evaluation and feedback evaluation of organizational function and its program is important to the success and the sustainability of the organization normally evaluation of the organization includes the following namely evaluating the need and relevance of the program the extent of participation of the clients the various stages of the programs the accessibility of the programs availability and quality of the service offered by the organization and sustainability and financial viability of the program feedback another aspect of administration is the cheapest and most powerful function it gives the employee 
a sense of information about the work performance. For feedback to be motivating and energizing, it should be done on a timely and regular basis. Feedback will enhance the employee morale, satisfaction and productivity. Three things have to be kept by the administration they, that includes rationality, effectiveness and efficiency. Rationality, effectiveness and efficiency should be kept for better administration of the organization. What is rationality? Rationality is related to decision making and choice. Organization employs different people at different levels for taking decisions. It is expected that these personnel employed take rational decision. But at all times, it is not possible to take rational decisions. Emotional factors such as friendship, jealousy are abstracted to rationality of the individual. Thus, while complete rationality is not possible, it is important for the individual and for the organization to have limited rationality. Thus, rational efforts are directed to obtaining satisfactory solution rather than optimal or optimum solutions. Second aspect is eff effectiveness. Effectiveness is the extent to which the organization fulfills its objectives. It is also the capability and capacity of producing the desired results. Organizational effectiveness is doing the right task, completing the activities and achieving the goals. Efficiency is related to how an organization uses its resources in the production of the goods or the services. If we can measure an organization's input and output, such a concept of efficiency is both very useful and relevant to the operation and evaluation of the organization. Now we come to the end of the session. I will be providing you a summary of what we have learned so far. We have learned that administration is an important organizational function. The key elements of administration are cooperation, organization and goals. We learned that every organization has a number of subunits or elements which are bound together to form the structure and that structure as a whole fulfills some sort of function. We also learned that organization is regarded as structure and administration is regarded as process. We learned that organizational goals urge the organization to take action for realization of the goals. We finally understood that POSCOP is an effective framework for administration, especially in social welfare organization. Thank you for listening to me and all the best for the next module.